Today is a super exciting day because we start our first day of preparations because something amazing is coming to our homestead. Do you know what it is? You know what it is. You know what it is. Do you know what it is? I know what it is. Do you know what it is? You don't know what it is, and we are not going to tell you. You're going to have to wait and see what the new addition to our homestead is. Okay, we have a lot of work to do, so we better get started. It's pretty chilly today, and I don't know how long we're going to last before it absolutely starts pouring rain. But we are going to dismantle some fencing posts that we previously put in. Our pig area is going to be expanding in the spring. Oh, I just can't get any work done with these guys behind me today. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> we are all hands on deck today because we really have about a week before we need to be welcoming something new that's coming to our homestead. And this is just one of two new things that are coming to our homestead. Because in a little while, we'll be welcoming a second member to the English family. I might get rid of these three and replace them with something else. <laughs> but we are going to be taking down some of the cedar pen fencing posts that we put in for the second area for the pigs. They're not in it yet. And for winter, they don't need that space. And so we are going to be making a temporary spot here for our new addition that's going to stay in this area that we're going to be making this week until spring. And I say spring because we need to be able to keep this animal close. Oh, I gave it away. It is an animal. It is not a person. <laughs> So we need to be able to keep this new addition close until springtime, not only so we can bond, but also so that we can keep an eye on obviously the health and well-being of this. And so we want to make sure that we make a really nice, like close spot that we can be here in this area all winter long with this. And so we're going to make some changes to this side area of the property that's surrounding where our greenhouse is. This week, we're going to be tackling fencing, building an entire housing enclosure and doing a whole bunch of other preparations. Because Snowfly is going to happen pretty quickly here, what we're doing right now is we're working on this project because we're waiting for about 300 hurricane ties and about 75 pieces of plywood that are getting delivered to us. And they're not here yet. So we're not going to stand by and wait for barn materials to show up. We're going to continue working on our to-do list for things we need to get done before winter. And this is just one of those things on the to-do list. And so it's pretty exciting that we're going to get another area of the homestead in the works here while we wait for that. So as though, although we're working on multiple projects right now, it's kind of all pending on materials as they arrive. So we're just going to keep working and hope that snowfly doesn't happen sooner than we think. Yeah, I bent it over and then pull it out. So there was a reason many of you asked why we weren't concreting these in. It's because we weren't 100% certain that these were going to be forever in this area. So I'm so glad we didn't. We're going to relocate them now. Don't get a sliver on your hand. Try to use your your hoodie a bit. Nice. So good. We want the round wood post to be on this side because essentially that's more like the front side of the house. So we'd like to have them match what we have for the horse area over there. So we're just marking every eight feet using the marker paint we already had for doing the barn. So that's convenient. And we had a hundred foot tape measure, which we also needed for the barn. So we're making use of things we've already purchased, trying to do this like our usual projects on a budget.
because the ground is only gonna get colder and more solid. We need to get this happening because Chase is a little excited for our new addition. <laughs> I can't wait. To show. <laughs> yeah. He's so excited. Chase has been dreaming of this day for how long? <laughs> like forever since we moved here. <laughs> yeah, since we moved here and before. Probably about, I would say about seven years or so, Chase has been waiting for this day to happen. trickier because you have the tree there. Should I cut this part of the tree? Yeah. Chasey yeah. Chasey can play whack-a-mole. Whack Chase can play whack-a-mole. Whack 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 Wouldn't Dad be the, the mole because he's short? <laughs> Dad, Dad's the second tallest out of all of us. Yeah, what the heck? Chase! What are you saying? The second tallest. Who's the tallest, Chase? Who's the tallest? No, I'm the tallest. No. <laughs> you wear that badge of honor really proudly, don't you, Chase? Taller than Dad. How oh. many inches? Uh, I don't remember. What was it? Oh, it was five, six. Five, six. Uh, I'm five, seven point one. With shoes or what? Oh my god, I'm going to make you shorter. Get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, that should probably be a good talk. <laughs> good job. It's fun, right? Yeah. Whack a mole. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're doing it. Try to hit right in the middle every time and try to make sure your hammer is flat when it hits it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like this part is flat. Yeah. bringing out trees <laughs> these have no growth on them so it's pretty good to be able to get these cleaned out we have a lot of wood cleanup that we want to do but gosh there's just never enough hours in the day pretty open. it is pretty open there now that's what i mean if we take some of the stragglers out he will love it back here yeah he'll have a little wind nice. shelter yeah or shelter nice oh wait area. we said he it'll be really cute so let's yeah if we get a lot of this Cleaned up. scratchy stuff out and cleaned up a bit yeah. but let's get our main line where the fencing is going to go first and then you and i can fuss with all this when we don't have the boys Either helping this week this one or that one We don't want to have a brush mess after, so we're going to have our fire going here while we work today. We have our wood slats ready there that we're going to be putting four slats in between our sections here, all the way into the trees over there. And then we're going to be picking up some field fencing tomorrow morning. We have an appointment to go get some for a really good price. And then we'll be installing electric fence also this week. So that's fun because this will be our first time having electric fence. So we're excited to pick that up this week and get that all installed on the property as well. Philip and Chase are getting the first portion of the fence on. We're getting the matching slats together 
to match the side of the horse pasture. I think this is gonna look really cute, especially since we're at the front of the house here, or I guess the front side of the house. You can see our front gate for the entrance of our properties over there. I think it's gonna look really nice just to have it matching. We didn't want a fence necessarily running along the front side of the driveway boxing us in. So though we could use the orchard for land for our new family member, I didn't really want to put a fence right along here so we only have the entrance of the thickness of the driveway. So who knows what we'll do with this eventually, but right now it's just our orchard hill. And we're just going to leave it as such for now. Dayton and I are taking a little break. We have our fire going. You can see how much of this area behind here We've already cleared up a ton behind there. We're still working away. Date and I are clearing brush. And then Philip and Chase are working on this. Our field fencing is gonna be four feet high. And then we're going to be doing an electric fence on the interior, all the way around the perimeter of the entire property. So we wanna make sure we do have some sectioned off areas as well, but just for animal safety for predators and to keep our own animals in, we're gonna do the entire acreage with the electrical fence. Eventually we'll take one of these sections and turn it into a gate, but since we were just working with about a week's time before our new addition comes, we're not gonna worry about adding too many gates for right now because it's just a quick take four of the panels off and add a diamond gate there when we get to that point. And obviously right now, right before Christmas, right before Christmas we don't wanna be buying a bunch of diamond gates for around the property. They're pretty costly. And we're just kind of buying one here and there when we can. I feel like now that we're getting the barn built and we're doing some more fencing around for different pastures and we're getting really all the animal areas situated, I feel like we're really starting to feel like more of a farm. And if you look back to when we bought this place a couple of years ago, it was completely abandoned. There was no life here whatsoever. And this was an old farm. And so it's so exciting for us to be able to rejuvenate this property, not only on the inside of the house, but also change this land so much picked up all the broken glass, debris, all of the stuff they had put around their acreage here. And then we've just been able to put all those areas where all those things were into something that is so amazing for the life of this property. So we're pretty excited. This is just another addition to the homestead that has been on our bucket list forever. And it's something that we knew we would eventually do when we got the opportunity to be able to make that happen sooner than we thought. And so it's very exciting. The whole acreage, oh my gosh, I have trees and pine needles everywhere i'm pretty sure i smell like an air freshener at this point we're clearing up also a ton of fencing that was around the property before we even moved here it was about a two foot tall i would think lattice fencing you can hear philip crunching some of the woods i just carried over a huge piece and then you have to pull it out from between all of the little branches and brush of the lower trees and it's crumbly and it's so old. I don't know how it ever kept anything in. Maybe a very small dog, but I would think any dog could hop over it. So I'm not sure if it was just to mark where the property was, but it's not accurate for our survey for what acreage we own now. So we're getting rid of all of it, burning it with any of the brush that we're doing. The other thing is there's a lot of little like nails and spikes that are sticking out of it. Some of it's broken. So there's some sharp edges on it and we don't want that around obviously anywhere where we have animals. We've cleared that up already everywhere behind the woods where you see where we have Hudson and Lennon and over where our pigs are. We'd already taken a whole bunch of it out, but we haven't really done much to this side of the acreage. And so we're kind of trying to clear that out as well while we're doing all of the trees and just seeing exactly where the fence perimeter is going to go so that we can clear the best path we can to go around because we're going to get a giant roll of the field fencing and it will be so hard to unroll it between the shrubbery of all of the sticks and things that stick out the bottom of the lower portions of the trees. So we're trying to make the best path that we can to make applying the fences and installing them as easy as we possibly can for us. Philip's pulling out the next section. <laughs> what did that even keep in or out? Like it's so short. It is a nuisance and it's kind of, oh, you have actually like a pretty intact piece. The piece I brought was all crumbly. Most of it's already laying down on the ground. Pretty crumbly. But how, that's not high enough to keep anything in. <laughs>
more eight foot sections of fence tonight to get on the four slats. I think the four slats look so good. It's gonna match with the other side of the property that we have for the horses. And we're gonna cut off in just two more sections tonight because not only is it getting dark and I think we felt a few mists of rain, but also I need to go in and do a few orders tonight because we have now opened up orders for the December 15th Create With Me kit. It is November 2nd today, and we only have 20 kits left for December 15th. So we're, and we're a month and a half away from that. So if you want to get a December kit, it is a holiday themed box, and it will arrive for you to be able to do the video alongside me, create with me on December 15th. So head to aliciaenglish.com if you would like to get a kit. There's only 20 left. Like that is such a small number where sometimes we're selling more than that in a day. So you need to make sure if you want one that you go on and get it. As soon as they're sold out, they're sold out. We're cutting off orders a little bit earlier also to make sure that items can ship out a little bit quicker to make sure that they get there in time because of the holiday rush of the post office and things like that. So order quickly if you wanna get one or you're gonna miss out and then the next ones won't be until January. Also wanna thank everyone who's already purchased one before. I'm having so much fun making these kits. And also I forgot to mention that the DIY kits that are the mystery box for stockings for Christmas, giving the gift of DIY, those are on the website as well. And the cutoff for those will be Friday so that they can get shipped out mid-November. Okay, last section on this part. Now we just have to make sure that all the posts are topped a little bit, just like that one there. So we have to cut. We'll do that tomorrow in the daylight, but that's pretty good. And then we've done a whole bunch of clearing. It's now getting dark, so you can't really see as well, but we've got tons cleared out over there, making room for our field fencing that's gonna go all the way, you know, down, around, and through, behind, all the way, property line, back and around, and over, <laughs> over here, and join up to here for winter. So that is the rest of the week job. All four of us got a lot done today. We're gonna go in and make some late night dinner because when you're out working all day, someone has to make dinner. So we're gonna go in, Philip and I are gonna make some dinner for everyone and I'm gonna get working on some of my Create With Me kit box orders. Boys are gonna relax for the evening because it is their weekend after all and they've been working with us outside all day today. We got so much done today. It's so nice to have extra hands to be able to work on projects around the homestead. Especially on the weekends, we can spend some extra quality time together working outside. And we're obviously all very excited that we have some new additions coming. One of our new additions is coming within a week's time and the other one will be coming in the very early spring. And so I, we're not entirely sure exactly when, but it should be sometime early spring. So it's pretty exciting. And I don't know how we're gonna sleep all week, but we're gonna need to get all the sleep we can because we're so excited. And we know we have a lot of work to do to prepare for this new addition. You can take some guesses if you'd like in the comment section. I'm wondering how many of you have figured it out already or could probably guess, but maybe I'm gonna you, leave it a mystery. Maybe if you follow our other socials. Yeah, maybe if you follow some of our other socials, you might have t found a few hints that were maybe left this week, but we'll see. Chase and Dayton have never been more excited about a new addition. They've been dreaming of this for a really long time, and I'm so happy that we're able to make this happen. Oh, Frida and Ragna are excited. They're just <laughs> oinking from behind the fence over here, excited. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your support. Again, if you would like to order any of the December Create With Me kits, head to aliciaenglish.com and the Give the Gift of DIYs are on there as well, just for a couple more days. And anything else that's on there right now has already been sold out. So we're kind of, you've missed your chance on those ones, but there are a few that you can still get before the new year. So I love you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit subscribe and follow along. You're not going to want to miss what we have coming up on our channel. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint about tomorrow's video. If you can guess correctly what it is that we are welcoming to our homestead, we might show you a sneak peek in tomorrow's episode because we actually went not once but twice over the past week to go visit our new family member and we're so excited so if you can guess right and collectively you guys can decide what you think that it is that we're welcoming to the homestead we might show you a sneak peek of our visit with our new friend you got to guess it right so leave a comment down below <laughs>